Greetings, dear ones. I am Kryon of Magnetic Service. There's a space of time that I give for my partner to retreat so that there's a clarity. His retreating clears this consciousness of filters that would keep things from being said. And the first thing I want to do is ask you about your belief. Do you believe it? It's a hard sell, as my partner says, to talk about things that are invisible or you have not been taught or that seem so far-fetched, so eye-rolling, that it seems to betray logic in humans. And yet sometimes the truth is that way because the energy of what you've been taught is so low. The history that you've experienced and accepted and bought into is just filled with misinformation. Again, it has been warped in so many ways by a low consciousness and a humanity that works at a low efficiency. And that is changing. And so all of these things right now, I ask you, do you believe it? Can you go even so far as to celebrate the changes you're experiencing in the energy that you have? To many, it is sobering. It's difficult to have joy and celebration when you are concerned about the future. And you hear so many versions of the future. If I could tell you one thing in this evening that would be the wisdom of spirit, it would say stop listening to anyone but yourself. When it comes to what tomorrow will bring, for already you have passed through what was going to be the turmoil and the prophecy that didn't happen. And we continue to say to the human being, how many proofs do you need before you believe it? And yet this has always been the way of it. I remind you, of the Israelites in the desert walking for 40 years. That was not an exaggeration. Can you imagine being part of the entourage that walked in the desert in a circle for 40 years? Following the prophet that had led them from slavery. Some of them coming to the conclusion that slavery would be better than walking in the desert for 40 years. Where are we going? What are we doing? When are we going to get someplace walking in circles? And God answered this by feeding them every day without fail all their lives. Day after day after day, they didn't have to grow a thing fell from the sky and yet they still doubted we say to you how much proof do you need that you're going to be fed every day dear ones you stand on the cusp of things you didn't expect and have not experienced ever before in your history the bridge to the promised land is that which is human human consciousness that you've never seen. How can I tell you you're evolving when you have no model to look at? How can I tell you about something that you've never 
ever experienced before. And we said, this is where you're going. And so if you sit there and you doubt it with all of your heart, there is no judgment. In fact, it's logical that you doubt it at all. And the whole reason I'm presenting this particular thing is because where I'm going next, you won't believe. You're going to say it's too esoteric, it's too unbelievable, it's too remarkably fantasy. When I start telling you yet again, not necessarily review because there's new information about things you cannot see that no one's ever told you, that is only speculation. And that's beautiful beyond belief. You cannot listen to this channel and have one foot in the old energy. You cannot listen to this channel coming up and weigh it against what your parents told you. You cannot listen to this channel coming up and weigh it against anything anyone has ever told you. We're beginning to open the door to remarkable information that makes you so big. And yet at the same time, you realize what's going on. And we'll start this way. The universe is old. The galaxy is the same age. And we have told you this before, that over four billion years, this galaxy has been finished. And in some places, the solar systems around the stars completed. And while this earth was still forming, there was life elsewhere. We have told you this before to give you the information and also the reality that you can see in the stars with your instruments about how old they are. The galaxy was alive and working and functioning with a system of benevolence while the earth was churning over and volcanoes were going off. That was on purpose. You're not that old, and we've told you that. Geologists, we've hinted at some things before. We want you to rearrange some thinking. You take a look at some things on this planet, the majesty of certain mountains that have risen like slabs and pointed to the sky, and you, you, you say, well, this, this was a million years for this to happen, and you look at, at certain other things, and you say, this took 10,000 years for this river to cut this particular path, and you look at something else. Let me tell you, I'll give it about... Oh, a hundred years or less. I will tell you some of the youngest mountains that you see in northern Canada were pushed up and you could watch them grow. Can you imagine how violent this planet was at one time? You got to rearrange your thinking of how violent the planet was when it was cooling and, and when it became active over and over, squashing life over and over by design. While there was life in the galaxy developing just like yours with cities and civilizations, DNA, and they had names, and they knew God. I give you the information yet again because I want to talk about time capsules and I want to talk about something we've never talked about before called the template. And I want you to understand how loved you are. That all of this was designed for you. It was designed for today. It wasn't designed for the old energy when you were struggling. It was designed for today when you're going to grow up. Dear ones, when the Pleiadians showed up, they had been through 
thousands of years of evolution after they had passed their own marker in their own way in their own planet we told you they had solved what you would call planetary overpopulation when they started to live longer they had the wisdom and the science and the science was not machines the science came with the physics of consciousness to be able to make what they needed literally from the consciousness of their minds to be able to shape that which you would call the reality of travel there were three Pleiadian planets by the time you were seated around the same set of suns and before them they had their seed parents who went through similar things and before them they had their seed parents who went through similar things millions of years of humanity on their planets knowing God before humans ever showed up there is a lineage in this galaxy which is remarkable the galaxy is old and you're not and yet and we say this with all respect dear human being you had to come from somewhere what you brought to this planet was a star akash because you had participated in so much of this life by the time it was your turn that's in your DNA too but it's not going to be revealed for a very long time a very long time that's because you need to work on who you are and who you've been here first I'm going to make a statement and I don't want you to get it wrong you human being represent the lowest spiritual consciousness in the galaxy you're the new kids on the block and you're just growing up and all around you in this galaxy there are life forms with high consciousness so high so high that they were able to come here without craft and seed you and not go back can consciousness ever get to a point where this is possible and what I want to beg you is to stop dividing human consciousness and corporeal selves with God you are here and God is somewhere else and you'll never get together and that is wrong the actual premise is that God is in you and the higher the consciousness the more you meld into God The masters of the planet were so profound you couldn't tell if they were God or not that's high consciousness that is possible an angel comes to visit you you have no concept of whether the angel is from the great central source or a Pleiadian that is because you can't tell the difference it's simply physics and I want to make a statement the Pleiadians are not God they represent the great central source in a task that they have performed for you and with free choice if you will survive what is coming the task will be on you someday to do the same for someone else this is a large system throughout the galaxy that has never been taught to you by anyone you are so closed so closed in your spiritual thinking and what I'm going to say next will offend just about everybody if you're listening to this and you are invested in one of the major earth religions I would like to ask you in all love a very real question and that is this when you discover there is life everywhere and they come and they present themselves to you and you see they're humanoid and you can see they have consciousness and beauty I'm going to ask you what are you going to do with it 
when your belief is wrapped around a prophet that may have given his life for this planet, what are you going to do with it? Are they going to be part of, of what you would call the, the, the beauty of heaven or not? Or are you going to exclude them? And if you're not and you're going to include them, how do you explain it? How do you explain it? Because it's going to happen. Get ready. You have a spiritual system that excludes the galaxy. What do you think? High or low consciousness? Dear ones, you are part of the whole. That includes trillions of souls in this galaxy. Some souls have not been seated and some have. Yes, you are visited by some who have no God inside but still have souls. I would like to tell you we know that, you know that. And we've never spoken, perhaps, of it in this way or this frankly. But let me tell you something. None of them have ever masked an attack. None of them have ever landed on the White House lawn. Isn't that odd? <laughs> it's because you're protected. The ones who have the highest consciousness in this galaxy are still here. And it's enough to scare away anything that would visit you does not have the same wisdom has prevailed in the galaxy so that star wars doesn't exist <laughs> they're wiser what you do is you propel your low consciousness on everything else even god we have told you that you have propelled human consciousness on the Almighty. You said God is angry, God is jealous, God is vengeful, God punishes. That is humans, not God. In your science fiction, you travel around the galaxy and you war with everybody. <laughs> That's funny. They were done warring a long time ago. They're very old and they're very wise. You're going to discover as you grow in your wisdom and your DNA starts to allow awareness into your life that there'll come a day when you will look backwards and laugh at who you were. The time capsules were placed here in an esoteric way at the seating of humanity. They've always been here and what you didn't know is that they opened early and then shut again because they created something called a template for humanity and the template was something put upon human consciousness that would look for God the template looks for God it's not intuitive for a human being or an animal or anything that simply evolves to look for the creator it just isn't and you did and you do that's a template. The template allowed for past life influence called karma. The template allowed for so many things that are programmed into your DNA that work with your spiritual self so that when you started to grow, it would be ready for the time capsules to finish the job. And they've started. If you don't know what the time capsules are, these things are common information to those who follow my teaching. And I told you before, the beauty of the planet is that as you grow, you've got help. You don't have to do it alone. The time capsules that the Pleiadians left in these 24 areas that push and pull as pairs are giving you a new template. And the new template, the new template is going to old souls. For the old souls are feeling the new template start to manifest. And the new template calls for peace. And the awareness that peace is the strength of humanity and not war. 
The old template left it clean. So you could decide for yourselves. And that was called the free choice. To create what you wanted and what you created up till now was war. And it never got any better. But when you passed this marker and you showed for over 50 years that you didn't have to have another war, that you started putting things together, that consciousness started changing, the time capsules started opening, and now you have help. And the new template starts to rearrange what is important to the psyche of human beings and goes beyond survival. Now it gets good. The proof of this is what happens next. Let me give you some potentials. There are old energies on the planet doing their best to pull you backwards. There is old leadership in some countries that will try to pull you backwards. There are inappropriate things that have happened in the past pulled to the to the, the future and also to now that you will look at. And the proof of what I'm going to say is that humanity will not tolerate it. In the past, it's been able to throw, absolutely throw it out of kilter. And you get another war. This time, there'll be such an objection to a consciousness of humanity that now understands that putting things together and allying countries will bring peace. Not conquering. There's one way to get all of the resources. And it's not war. It's put together the countries and share them. And you're just discovering it. Inventions are coming your way, dear ones. For energy that will cost very little, not on a grid system, but individual neighborhoods, water for everyone through inventions, some of them without pipes. These are things to look forward to. Pulling moisture from places you don't pull it from now, pulling heat from places you don't pull it from now, and having it all free. The curing of disease through processes that were hidden from you before that are natural without any side effects. The Pleiadians went through it. They're like you. They're just like you. I can sit here and tell you that many watched it happen. Some of you were there. There will come to you some science from former Pleiadians who will pop in as walk-ins and do the work. <laughs> Give you the inventions. One of them who is a Pleiadian is coming back. And his name is Tesla. He'll give you the quantum lens when you're ready. And we have talked about that before. There is so much here. The template was given to you by the time capsules of the Pleiadians. It's physics, because physics is consciousness, and consciousness was tempered. Every single human on the planet sitting in the magnetic field was affected by the DNA of the time capsules. And the search for God then became intuitive, and it became that which you did. And you found it. You had to decide for a while whether there many or whether there one. And now this planet is monotheistic. Still arguing about who can worship the right way. But it's monotheistic. That's about to change. And tolerance is the first to shift. And you're going to see that as well. It's not overnight, dear ones but it is happening slowly. 
the fight that you see almost entirely on this planet is internal or it's spiritual. It's not about resources anymore, if you noticed. It's not about borders anymore, if you noticed. It's about light and dark, if you noticed. That's different, and it told you this was coming. Here you are sitting in it. How many of you had the courage and the guts to raise your hand and say, Thank you, Spirit, that I'm alive to witness this revolution of consciousness and move forward? Do you want to come back or not? Oh, you'll be different. Awareness, wisdom, I promise it. I say it again like I said it earlier. Look at your grandchildren. It's already happening. How many of them have looked you in the eyes and told you who they used to be? They know. They may not have the facts right, but the intuition that they have, they know. This is not the first time that they've been here. When you come back, the time capsules will have opened even further and the template will arise to the Akashic opening of your memory. You may not have the facts either, but believe me, you'll have the wisdom of your past to call upon. And you won't have to go through what you've gone through. Say goodbye to the old energy that would keep you in the dark Lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Say goodbye to the old energy that would create in you fear when you're born of what you experienced before. Say goodbye to this. Say hello to an energy you don't expect. It's an energy that allows you to call upon your akash for what you deserve and you've earned like a well of knowledge wisdom and experience that you can now pull upon like the masters did. This is the promise, dear ones. Welcome to the new human on this planet. This is what we are teaching because we see it and we have seen it before. An attribute that is different for you than anything you've expected, anything that was ever taught, anything you've ever seen. And now you ask, <laughs> why is it so hard to believe it? And we just told you. Dear human, don't think like a human. Start thinking above that, which would be logical. Start thinking into a future with the eyes of a galactic citizen, not an earth citizen. And I challenge you to remember it. You have been through it before also. This is the message of the day. It's a good one. If you believe it. I want you to go from this place not confused, but peaceful in the fact that you're at a time that has been predicted by the ancients of this planet, and now you're living it. And so it is.